loaded me up on the bird and my platoon star and told me himself that in all his years in the military, he's never seen anybody as bad as me. And he didn't think I was gonna make it. That's the last he was ever gonna see me. I was at Bethesda for two and a half weeks. Uh, they flew me to, to the VA in Palo Alto to get cleared for, uh, in their polytrauma for a traumatic brain injury. And I was there for a month and a half. And then I went to San Diego where I was outpatient. And I've been doing my recovery ever since then and surgery after surgery. We've been best friends since high school. So we were in and out. Um, he went to the service. And I remember that morning I was moving into a new apartment and one of his friends Facebooked me actually saying that he had been hurt and they didn't think he was gonna make it. He was in Palo Alto during Christmas time. We were messaging back and forth and one day I had a couple of days off from work so I went to drive to Palo Alto and it was kind of funny. I surprised him so I was in the next waiting room. He wasn't in his room yet and I had flowers so um, I stuck his flowers on his table and I kind of hid behind the bed. So I pop up out and he's just kind of staring at me like, what are you doing here? He was in shock. I don't think he knew what to say. My prosthetic leg, when I was first getting casted for it, I was just like, come on, come on, cast me, cast me. Like, I, I want to get my prosthetic. I want to get walking already because I hated my wheelchair. Oh, I live with my girlfriend now in, my, in our apartment. My wheelchair, like the hallway, and like going into our restroom, like if you open the door out this way, um, I can't fit in my wheelchair. The wheelchair, I will have to say, is the toughest, especially when I'm trying to pick up the wheelchair with him in it. I try not to push him forward to drop him, I guess that's gonna be an issue. The kitchen's an issue, it's very tight, very small to get around. Um, I would say the doors as well. It's hard for him to get keys or anything very steady with one hand. That's another limitation in him slipping, getting in and out of the shower tub. With me, like, I look at myself like, you know, as a normal person, you know, maybe sometimes, you know, like two hands maybe. And when it comes to like hammering a nail, you know, like it's like, oh wait, I can't do it. I do get tired and emotional sometimes because I do wish I could do something more for him, which I can't. I'm looking forward to the new home because of the square footage. The new home will have all of that in the living room, in, the, in our master bedroom, in the bathroom, everything. When it comes to putting a dish into the microwave, the microwave would be right there instead of worrying about the heavy dish falling or something because it's happened before. Um, the key fob as well into the home gives them more access press of a button, we're in there with groceries, it won't be a hassle dropping anything. It'll be a lot better, less strain, I would say. We're gonna be on the same level. It uh, allows his independence in our new home. I won't have to be there all the time worrying. It's gonna boost his confidence, definitely. I think he's gonna finally realize that his role is a manly role, and I know that's something he struggles with. Um, Homes for our troops will give us our life back. It's such a blessing to help our families and families like us that struggle. It's going to be great for America to actually finally realize what's really going on and how most families deal with it because we're not alone. <laughs>